Well, this is a dream come true to have this guess. I keep telling you that 2021 belongs to the industrials, okay? The stocks that can generate monster earnings in a booming economy. But in recent weeks, they've stalled out. As I said at the top of the show, otherwise intelligent people worry that this is as good as it gets, that the numbers will peak this quarter or the next one. So it's time to get out while the getting's good. Wrong! These skeptics underestimate the scale of this great reopening. Look at the steel makers. They've got incredible pricing power right now, thanks to booming end markets. Think autos. They're just starting. Or machinery. And it will only get better as aerospace and non-residential construction start roaring back. And the best performing steel makers, Cleveland Cliffs. This used to be a pure play on iron. Uh, but uh, over the past year, they've made some huge acquisitions. Snappy up AK Steel and Arcelor Matours, uh, Metal's uh, U.S. business, I think, for a song. I think they did it right. Now, Cleveland Cliffs is a vertically integrated steel maker that's firing on all cylinders. A month ago, the company pre-announced some spectacular results. Stock jumped from seventeen twenty-five to 20 bucks. Last week, they released their full-year results, and the numbers were great. Management also gave you some excellent guidance. But let's understand this. They are now talking about four billion in earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, memorization up from three point five billion in their last forecast just a few weeks ago. However, thanks to some recent profit taking, the stocks pulled back again to under 19. I think it's a steal. Do not take it from me. Let's hear from Lorenzo Gonzalez. He's the chairman and CEO of Cleveland Cliffs and a most forward thinker. Learn more about this transformation, what he sees going forward. Mr. Gonzalez, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you. Thank you for having me, John. It's a dream come true for me as well. Oh. It's great to be with you. <laughs> well, it's great. Let's start out. There's an outfit across the street from you in, in Cleveland, uh, which, by the way, was the capital of everything when John Rockefeller started, right? And it's a key, key bag. He, key, he, he thinks that the um, valuation's done. The valuation's too high. That It's time to downgrade the stock. I, don't, I disagree. How about you? I disagree as well. But, you know, sometimes... Uh, the, the research analysts, they, they, they see a, a good run, and uh, this specific one, he upgraded us in November. We had more than 100% appreciation since then, and uh, he took a victory lap. He, could, he, was, he was running with the ball since the pass, and uh, he was about to cross the touchdown line. He decided to go on the sidelines. I would give him a C for effort, but they could have scored a big touchdown if he had run the ball to the end zone. Well, the toughest part that I have with him is not necessarily that he took the victory at, but these numbers for 2022. Uh, Lorenzo, they're not realistic. I mean, look, you bought two steel companies that, frankly, I thought were not great. You put them together and make it, you're making them great. The order book is just beginning. How can I possibly think that 2022 uh, is going to be a down year from 2021? And we are now, Jim, in a very different world in our business, in this country as well. Uh, COVID uh, taught us a very tough lesson uh, to, the, to the entire population, not, not to Cleveland. Cliffs. We have always been believers in manufacturing in the United States. But the post-COVID world is one that uh, will be very unforgiving for companies that have supply chains depending on manufacturing abroad and going through the ports and growing to complications. The microchip situation with automotive is just a symptom. It's not the disease. So we're going to see more manufacturing coming back to the United States. Cleveland Cliffs is ready to support these manufacturers in automotive and other sectors. Why did you do with something that I thought was vital? Why did you go back from Cliffs, Nat- you go to, from Cliffs Natural back to the story name, the, the fantastically storied name of Cleveland Cliffs? You look, Cleveland Cliffs is, is at the basis of supporting manufacturing in this country forever, since 1847. And when I took over the company through a hostel over in 2014, the one thing that was bothering me the most was the fact that the previous re- regime had changed the, the company name. So I brought the company name back as soon as I could, as soon as the company was back on track, and as soon as, as, soon as the company was back, being the the supplier of uh, iron ore pellets for these two makers in the United States. Now we became the largest flat world steel producer, the largest flat world steel maker in the country. So that's why we are coming from a position of strength and we're very ready for 2021, 2022 and beyond. 
Now, there have been other steel companies that have tried to integrate and buy other steel companies, uh, and it didn't really work, uh, in part maybe it's because of the cycle, in part because they didn't know how to integrate. Why should we think that you, Lorenzo, are, are going to be able to make AK Steel work with ArcelorMittal with, uh, Mittal with, also with what you're doing? Why is it going to work for you and didn't work for others? Because I am very focused on people. Uh, I am very focused on making people work together. And uh, I'm very proud, actually, that we pay our people better than other steel companies. I'm very proud that we generate 25,000 very good paying jobs, vast majority union jobs. I prefer to pay my people a little better than have to keep hiring rookies and keep training people. Uh, I don't feel like people are just numbers. And they understand that. So AK still was integrated extremely easily through a very complicated year, that was 2020. And we are doing the same thing with Arcelor Middle USA uh, in 2021, which is actually a lot easier now that things are starting to, to be a lot, a lot more actionable than in 2020. So people, that's the difference. Okay, that is a very big change. I know the labor problems, the strife at AK, that's over from what you are doing. Now, uh, one last thing, the infrastructure bill. Uh, definitely needed, as we know. Uh, you would play a role? A big one. A big one. We are big producers of plate. We are big producers of flat road, as you know. And we are ready to support the, all the initiatives. We also believe that at, at, at this point in time, there is nothing that could preclude us to continue to grow this business here in the United States, organically, in an environmentally friendly fashion. We are the most environmentally uh, compliant and friendly steel producer, producing country in the entire world. So producing steel in the United States, in companies like Cleveland Cliff or Nucor, it's great for the environment. And uh, we need to do more of that and less in China, polluting the world. Yes, it, it, we, we're 2 percent. There are more than 60 percent. People choose, treat them as if they're some developing country that they get an excuse to do it. You and I both know that's not right. All right. All right. That's Lorenzo Gonsalves, and he is the chairman and CEO of a very undervalued four times earning company. And that's because people think it's peak. I disagree. May have money's back after the break. Could the future of retail be rural? Kramer's digging into a stock up over 80 percent in the past year and plowing through earnings with the CEO of Tractor Supply. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.